Hey guys, Kaitan again. Today we are solving another problem from the beginner level of Kochef and the problem that we are solving today uh, is sum of digits. And the problem code is FLOW006. It's a very simple to understand problem. Uh, you are given an integer n and we have to write a program to calculate the sum of all the digits of n. Okay, let's take okay. Uh, the input is in this format. We are given a t, which is the number of test cases, and then each t will contain an n, uh, which is the number that we have to work on. So let's take uh, the first case, which is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it is actually twelve thousand three hundred and forty-five, but we have to consider it as one, two, three, four, five because we are trying to do the sum of them, right? So we have to add these numbers: one plus two plus three plus four plus five. Which will give us 15, right? And then in the in the same in the second case and also in the third case, let's take third two plus one three plus two five plus three eight, right? So that's uh, that's what we have to do. Okay, let's get cracking. Exchange this to C plus plus, and then here goes our main code. First, we have to take t test cases. And then we do a loop. And we are scanning them into well we can store them in an array okay so let's call that array a and then we'll put all the test cases one by one so we need to define an array with t size size t okay so we have all the inputs now uh, they're in the array a okay we have to go through them one by one and uh, yeah so instead of actually putting them in an array, we can just solve them and output them uh, because we don't we don't need uh, any previous test case uh, like the previous test case doesn't have any impact on the next test case, right? So we can just remove this and even remove this. Okay, we we need that. So let's let's say we are taking an integer n. Then we are taking the number and putting it in n, right? Now we need to find uh, we need to find the sum, right? Okay, this is uh, one way of doing it. We can either con we can okay. There are two ways. We can convert it to string and then pass it character by character and then convert each character into integer and then work on it. Or we could do one thing. We can uh, you know. Take each digit by going through its place, like ones place, and then tens place, and then hundreds place, and we can just add them up. So I'll show the second method uh, because that's uh, that's a less, lesser known method. Uh, okay, actually it's not lesser known, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll show the, the I'll show the uh, digits way. I think that's interesting. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. If you want the strings, you can uh, string method. Uh, we can you can just comment uh, below the video, and I'll try to do it. Right? Okay. So we have to okay while n is greater than zero. We can just have another integer answer. It is zero first. It uh, answer plus equals to n percentile ten, and then n divided by equals to ten. Right. That's it. Now, yeah, we can just print the answer. Let's 
should check if it's working first so that I can explain. Uh, I hope I didn't miss any step in the process. 15, 9, and 8 should be the output. Okay, we got 15, 9, and 8, but they're just uh, we have to do them line by line, right? We have to put an end line, end of line over there. Right, 15, 9, and 8. Okay, guys, uh, so you might be uh, a little bit shocked why is the code so small. It's really simple in principle. Uh, what we are doing is first taking uh, this digit, which is the uh, ones digit. We do that by doing the percentile. N percentile 10, right? N could be anything. And then the percentile 10 will give us the rightmost digit, which is 5 in the test case, one case. And then 3 here and 3 here, right? So we get 5 here. Uh, let's take uh, test case 3. Uh, and I'll explain how it's working. We have 2, 1, 2, 3, right? Okay. The test case is 2, 1, 2, 3, right? So in the first iteration, what is happening here is, okay, 2, 1, 2, 3. And here, now n percentile 10 will give you 3 okay and then answer is appended with 3 because we are just adding all the digits right we get the digit and then we add it so first of all answer is 0 and then we get 3 so answer uh, is 0 plus 3 right this is what's happening there and then we have to get rid, get rid of this digit right we, we have already added it added it to our answer so we don't need 3 anywhere. So we can just divide it by 10. What's happening when we divide it by 10? Since it is an integer division, uh, in C++ uh, the division is integer default. So we, go, we don't get decimals in this. So the 3 is directly removed. So we are left with 2, 1, 2. Right? Because uh, 2, 1, 2, 3 by 10 is 2, 1, 2, 0.3. But we don't have decimals because this is integer division. So the point three is removed and we just have, we are just left with two one two. Now when we come back to this iteration, it's two one two now. So n percentile ten is you guessed it two. And then now this is three. And then we are adding two to, two to this, right? So the answer becomes five now. Again we are removing this, right? Now when we get back to here, it's two one now. So the percentile 10 will yield 1 and then 3 plus 2 is 5 and then we are adding 1 here, right? So it's 6 now and then we have to remove the 1 again and then again uh, we get 2 in this situation we are at 2, only 2 is remaining. Now n percentile 10 is also 2 now. So now answers default value is 6 and then we are adding 2 on top of that. So we got the answer as 8 now. Right now we remove this. What happens here? 2 divided by 10 is 0.2, but since it's in integer division, it will just put 0 here. Right? So, what we are uh, now here, the case will break while n is greater than 0, n is equals to 0. So, the case is breaking now. So, we'll get out of the loop. Right? So, this is uh, one clever way of using integer division and uh, you know. Per, uh, Reminder this percentile is known as a reminder and Solving this problem. So we are at answer uh, is 8 now. So it's solved And right? the sum of all the digits we captured all this uh, we captured the sum of all the digits and we printed it right We'll just submit this It should definitely work because the time complexity is just Okay, the time complexity is uh, The number of digits the uh, integer has that's the uh, time complexity so let's say here one two three four five we are going through five iterations of it right because we have to remove each digit in each iteration so the time complexity is just the number of digits in the integer that we get okay so we got it in 0 0.00 seconds and yeah so guys if you like the video share it with your friends like subscribe
uh, do all that stuff and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching